Hi, this is Editing Rachel, and I'm just popping in to welcome you to this video where we go to Mexico City. My husband and I went in April 2023, which, yes, is a while ago, and I did capture content, but I was a bit shy in sharing it, and I fell victim to Montezuma's revenge, if you know what I mean. Nonetheless, I was able to salvage some of that content and cobble it together for something I think is uh, decent. So I will preface this video with a disclaimer that this is indeed a gringa AF trip to Mexico City. And I do apologize for that. One day I hope to return and be able to see a real local's perspective and to visit real local haunts. But for now, this is what I have. Anyways, I'll include all the places that we visited in the description below, and that will include places I didn't actually get footage of, but I would totally recommend. So, hope you like it. Mexico City is amazing. here in Mexico City, staying at the lovely Nima local house. It's a boutique hotel here in Roma Norte, and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous um, converted Spanish colonial home, and um, it is also staffed by a wonderful group of people who are just so sweet and accommodating, and really, I hate putting them out of the way for anything because they're just so nice and uh, yeah so if you look at their reviews you'll see that across the board everyone praises their amazing staff um, it is a little pricey than other places but my husband and I have not traveled internationally since 2019 so since we haven't taken our honeymoon yet uh, we just figured let's do a honeymoon year and just splurge be bougie and so we lucked out, we're able to get uh, one of the prime rooms here in Nima, which is the, 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 the Mar room. I'm sorry, I forgot the entire uh, name of this room. But yeah, it's a very beautiful, gorgeous room and I would show you more, but it's a little messy. Um, and so what I will show you is this gorgeous terrace that comes with this room. Um, the other rooms all have terraces, I believe, but they face into the incredible interior of the hotel. This one faces the exterior onto the street of Roma Norte. So yeah, and this is our terrace and it is the beautiful Roma Norte neighborhood that we are staying at. It is central to so many great cafes, restaurants, um, shops as well and you know anyways so yeah for our first full day we headed out to Shoshimilko which is famous for its beautiful boats that sail on these tiny canals our tour included drinks from cervezas to margaritas and we got to make our own guacamole we also got to stop at this tiny little animal preserve that featured the iconic axolotl. That evening, we explored a little bit more of Roma Norte and then headed to our dinner reservations at Rosetta. This Italian restaurant by chef Elena Regadas prides itself on using Mexican ingredients. During our trip, we explored a bunch of vintage boutiques. We of course had to check out the famous seafood restaurant Contromar. The parks in Mexico City are famous for their beauty, and Parque España is gorgeous with lush greenery, a peaceful setting, and of course, doggies. Whenever I'm on tour of a new place, I just look for dog parks and where I can probably take Poe. Even though Poe's never coming to Mexico. It was like in Seattle. 
I found the dog park in Seattle and I'm like, oh, this is a good place to bring bones. <laughs> A visit to Museo Frida Kahlo is a must. The exhibits set in her historic home, Casa Azul, detail her incredible life and artistry. After our tour, we just took a little stroll around Mercado de Coyoacan. As a cafe enthusiast, I was especially excited to try Panaderia Rosetta, the sister bakery to Rosetta. Look, I'm going to tell you now that we went here multiple times because it was also just down the street from our hotel. And you know what? We are not ashamed. In my personal opinion, the guava roll lives up to the hype. Growing up in a postal carrier family, I made sure to visit the beautiful Palacio Postal. We of course made a visit to Palacio de Bellas Artes, but didn't take the tour. I did beeline for the House of Tiles for a photo op. One of my artist friends strongly recommended that we visit La Ciudadela, which is famous for Mexican handcrafts and folk art. We got some great silver jewelry here. Needing to refuel, we went back to Condesa and had Mediterranean food at Lardo. We spent the rest of the day just wandering around and window shopping, and then nightcapped at Las Brujas, a female-led cocktail bar. No trip to Mexico City is complete unless you try more casual tacos, so I forced my husband to go to Taqueria Orinoco for some late-night snacking. So good. Turns out five days is not enough time to really see all the sites of Mexico City, at least the famous ones. But we did decide to go to Chapultepec Park and check out Chapultepec Castle. I really love the artwork here, especially the anti-colonial ones. I was able to score reservations for the taco omakase at the world-renowned Pujol. We missed out on the famous mole, which you get with a tasting menu reservation, but the blood orange starter, tuna taco, lobster taco, and crab empanada were incredible. I'm sorry to say that the snail with the ants emulsion was interesting, but just okay. I'm out in Roma Norte by myself, enjoying a little coffee, even though it is 6.30 p.m. And yeah, I kind of like it. It's nice. I'm just exploring, spending money I shouldn't be spending, especially after eating at Pujol today. It's cost a lot of money. And that's our trip. Thanks for watching and see you next time.